Welcome to this edition of the product training series. Today we're going to be talking about the Intensity CX4, a four-channel combination electrotherapy and ultrasound device. The CX4 offers practitioners a wide variety of treatment options in one versatile ergonomic design. The Intensity Therapy Cart comes with six drawers, three on each side, which are fully adjustable and capable of storing all of your supplies, such as lead wires, electrodes, and ultrasound gel. The Intensity Therapy Cart also comes with a utility handle, unique in design. It's perfect for storing your ultrasound gel, lead wires, and ultrasound therapy wand for easy access. Now that we've plugged in the Intensity CX4 and powered it up, we're ready to turn on the machine. Simply hit the power button in the back and you'll hear the device power on. When you hear several beeps, you know the unit is self-calibrated and ready to go. Before we jump in and use the intuitive touchscreen, let's look at the user quick access buttons below. Here you'll find the electrotherapy button, ultrasound button, and the electrotherapy and ultrasound combo button. You'll also find the stop button here. You can quickly access each of these by selecting the button. This jumps you right into the electrotherapy screen, jumps you right into the ultrasound screen, and finally jumps you right into the combination screen. Now that you're familiar with the quick access buttons, let's use the touch screen and dive further into the unit. First, let's select electrotherapy found at the top of the main screen. Simply hit the icon and it'll take you to the main page of the electrotherapy section. Here you'll see the manual operations, where you can choose from all of your current waveforms, your favorite section, and where you can save different favorite protocols for various patients or therapists in the clinic, as well as your clinical protocols section that houses all of the protocols found on the device. Here you can get waveform descriptions, as well as an anatomic model of electrode placement. Let's jump into the manual operations screen first. Now here's where you'll find all of the different current waveforms from symmetrical and asymmetrical biphasic to symmetrical and asymmetrical RAS, which stands for rapid agonist and antagonist sequencing, an upgraded waveform over some of the familiar ones like TENS and VMS. You also have high volts, NMS, which stands for neuromuscular stimulation, as well as microcurrent, pre-mod, inferential, and Russian stim. You can simply select the back button to jump into the main electrotherapy screen here. You'll also see the intelligent keys next to each one of the clinical protocols. When you hit this key, you'll find the waveform rationale. You can toggle forward to find a waveform description, and finally toggle forward again to find an anatomical guide for electrode placement. You can select back to get out of the intelligence key and select a therapy to get started. You'll see that you get a channel selection as well. You can use channel 1 or 2 if you're using just two electrodes, or use channel 1 and 2 together if you're using four electrodes. You can do the same thing for channels 3 and 4, and then 3 and 4 together. For demonstration purposes, we'll use channel 1 and 2. Once you're on the main start screen, you'll see all of your different settings and parameters. You can easily select any of those until they're highlighted, and then toggle back and forth to adjust the settings. You can also adjust the carrier frequency all the way up to 10,000 Hz. You can adjust the timer by simply selecting the timer icon. Or 
or channel 1 or channel 2 to turn up the milliamperage. You can save a favorite by highlighting the favorite icon at the top, and for demo purposes we'll call it 1, 2, 3. And simply hit the green check icon and you'll see that it's been saved in your favorites. To access favorites, simply go to the home screen, go into the electrotherapy section under favorites, and you'll see that the same favorite has been secured there for next time. Now that you've worked with the electrotherapy settings, let's jump into ultrasound. Simply hit the ultrasound icon and you'll see the same familiar setting options from manual operation to favorites to clinical protocols. Under manual operation, you'll find all of your traditional settings. Here you can see the icon that we're using a 5 cm ultrasound applicator. If you were to change that to a 1 cm ultrasound applicator, the icon would change and recognize the new application. You can also select the frequency and adjust from 1 to 3 MHz. You can choose to work in watts per centimeter squared, or just watts, as well as change your setting from continuous to pulsed. The pulsed feature has a duty cycle option from 10 to 90%. You can also adjust your timer here and select the power to get started. Now that you're familiar with electrotherapy and ultrasound, let's jump into the combination screen. Once on the combination screen, you'll notice that you only have manual operation and favorite options. Simply open up the manual operation and you'll see that your first option is to select a current waveform in the electrotherapy portion. Let's use pre-mod for demonstration purposes. On the first screen, you'll see all of your electrotherapy options and parameter settings. You can still adjust the timer, and you can still control both power options for ultrasound and electrotherapy. If you need to change your ultrasound settings, simply hit ultrasound and adjust the settings here. Once you're ready to get started, you can control both power settings, turn on the machine, and get going. To jump back to the home screen, simply hit the home icon up top, and you're back to the beginning. Thanks for joining us on this edition of the product training series featuring the Intensity CX4. We look forward to seeing you next time.